the Sorbello stitch um, originates from a town in Italy with the same name. We're really going to work it in a square, but you can imagine the square if you want to between two lines. I'm going to make one really big one so that hopefully you can see it and then I will work a group of them. So we're going to come up, if we were working in the square, in our top left hand corner. We're going to go back down in our top right hand corner, bring the needle back up in the bottom left hand corner. Then we are going to take the needle over the top of this horizontal stitch we made. We want to keep our working thread out of the way and pull through. Don't pull it up tight, leave it loose there. Then we are going to go back over that top horizontal stitch again, and this time we want the thread to be under the needle. We're going to pull it up and back down in the right hand corner. You don't want it flopping around, but you don't want to pull it too tight either. So with it this big, it looks kind of like a bow up there. To me, when it's smaller, it looks like a pretzel. So let's do it over here on this line now. Going to come up in the top left hand corner of my imaginary square, go down in the top right hand and bring the needle back up on the bottom left hand corner. We are going to go needle. We're going to come from the top of our horizontal stitch, go under it, keep our working thread out of the way for this first one, pull up, not too tight. Going to go back up, down from the top, under our top horizontal stitch. We want the thread, the working thread to be under the needle this time, pull through, and we're going to go down in the bottom right corner. And pull through. So for my next one, I just come right back up, right next to where my went down in my top right hand corner. This time it's gonna be the left hand corner. Go down in what would be my top right hand corner. Come up on my bottom left hand corner. We're going with the needle from the top of our horizontal stitch, go under it. Working thread is out of the way. Then we're going to go back again, under from the top, under that top horizontal thread. And now our working thread is under the needle. Pull through and go down in the bottom right hand corner of what our square would be. I had to get some more thread. I'll just do it a couple more times. We're coming up top left hand corner of our square, our imaginary square, down in the top right hand corner, bring the needle back up in the lower left hand corner. So we have a horizontal stitch across the top. We're going to take the needle from above that horizontal stitch, go under the stitch without piercing the fabric pull through and we kept the working thread out of the way. And then we're going back from the top under that top horizontal stitch again. This time our working thread is under our needle and pull through. And we go down in the bottom right hand corner.